In this video we're going to look at layer groups and layer controls in Leaflet.js. These allow you to toggle on and off different items or features on your Leaflet maps. You might have a set of markers that represent one object and another set of markers that represent another object and you might want to toggle between these. Layer groups and layer controls allow you to achieve this in Leaflet.js. So let's get started. Now we're going to extend a previous example that I've done with Django and Leaflet in this video and you can get that in this GitHub repository which I will link below the video. Now I have this project opened in VS Code and we're going to go to the terminal here. You can get the project of course with the git clone command. I've already cloned this repository but what we're going to do is check out a new branch and we're going to call that final. And the reason that we're doing this is because we're going to pull the final code from this particular tutorial that I've done and that's in the final branch on the remote repository here. So once we've created that locally we can then use the git pull origin final command and that's going to pull the contents of that branch into our local directory. So if you're following along with this video get the final branch. What we're going to do now is once we have that code we're going to run python manage.py migrate to create the database. That creates this database.sqlite file and now what we're going to do is create some test data that we used in the previous video. Now I have a management command in the management slash commands folder. It's called create vehicles. Now what this is going to do is generate five vehicles in the database that we're going to use in this particular video. And we have a model in this project called vehicle that contains two fields. And these are latitude and longitude which are both float fields. So this particular model will track the location of a vehicle. And this management script here is going to create five of these in the database using the vehicle.objects.create function. So what we're going to do is run this management command. So it's python manage.py create underscore vehicles. And as you can see in the terminal, that's now added five vehicles to our database. So that's the setup. Let's now run the Django development server. And we can then see what this project looks like in the previous video. So let's go to the browser. And we have the map open here that contains our five markers representing the location of that vehicle. So that's that's fine for this example but in this video we're going to extend this and we're going to allow users to toggle which vehicles are shown on the map at a given time. Now in order to do this we're going to use a leaflet.js feature group and we're going to add each vehicle into its own feature group and then add those feature groups to the map individually. We're then going to create a layer control which is going to allow us to toggle these vehicles or rather toggle which groups are shown on the map at a given time. So let's go to the documentation for Leaflet and there is a page that I will link below the video on layer groups and layer controls. And the gist of this video is that Leaflet provides this little utility here for layer controls where you can toggle what items are shown on the map using this feature and that is done by adding particular items to a feature group or a layer group and then using the layer control to add those feature groups to the map. Now if we scroll down to the layer control section you can see that Leaflet has two types of layers. First of all we have the base layers and these are mutually exclusive so only one base layer can be on a map at a given time. And these might be things such as tile layers which show a particular style or a particular tiling system on the map. The second type of layer is called an overlay layer and that's all the other stuff you might want to put on a map such as markers and polylines and so on. Now we're going to get to the code in a second but I just want to quickly show these two types of layers at the top here. So what we have at the top is the base layer so we can change the base layer and that's going to change how the map actually looks. It's going to change the background system to the map. On the other hand changing the overlays will change what actual features are shown on that particular base layer. For example here we're showing different markers for cities and parks and you can show them together or you can show them individually or you can actually remove all of them. So the overlays you can have as many as you want displayed at a given time but base layers you can only have one at a time. These are mutually exclusive. So let's dive into the code and we're going to change that up in order to use these features in leaflet.js. So let's go to our template that we're using in this tutorial and that's the index.html template. Now within this template we're using Django's JSON script template filter to convert some data from the back end for those vehicles into JSON data and then just below that we have a script tag and what we're doing is we're getting that data from the JSON and storing it in a variable called vehicles and then we are creating a feature group in leaflet and adding that to our map and we're storing that in a variable called marker feature group and then for each vehicle in our set of vehicles we are creating a marker at that latitude and longitude and then we're adding it to our feature group. So what we want to do in this video is change that up a little bit. We actually want to create a feature group for each vehicle that we're iterating over that's coming from the back end data and then we want to add individually each feature group to the map. 
Now in the last video we saw some examples using an Ajax call to the back end with set interval. I'm going to comment that out because we don't need that in this video. Now because we're going to create a feature group for each vehicle and add it individually to the map, I'm going to remove this line of code here and we're going to actually create the feature group within the for loop. So within the for loop, let's create a variable called vehicle feature group and we're going to set that equal to a leaflet feature group and to do that we can call the leaflet.feature group function to actually create that and then we will add that to our map by using the add to function and passing in the map. So we now have a new feature group that we're storing in a variable called vehicle feature group. We're now going to use that feature group and pass that in when we create the marker object for the given vehicle that we're iterating over. So we're creating a marker at that latitude and longitude and we're adding it to the vehicle specific feature group. So let's save this and go back to our page here and refresh this page. You can see that we're still getting the same markers on the page. Nothing has changed visually at the moment, but each marker belongs to its own feature group. So how do we create the layer control that's going to allow us to toggle which markers are shown on the map? To do that, we're going to go back to the documentation first of all, and I'm going to scroll down to the layers control section. Now what we need to do is create an overlay layer here, and if we scroll down you can see what's happening in the documentation. We're creating two JavaScript objects, and the first object is for the base layer, which we're not going to use in this video, but we also have an overlay maps object here, and each key refers to a particular layer group or feature group that you want to add to your map. So in this case, there is a key called cities in this JavaScript object, and that's set to a variable called cities. Now cities refers to a layer group. If you scroll up here, you can see we're creating a layer group and we're adding four objects to that layer group when we create it. So cities refers to a layer group, and we need to create an object that has a key for each layer group or feature group that we're going to add to the map. So let's go back to our code, and just above the for loop, I'm going to create another JavaScript object, and I'm going to call this overlay maps, just like the documentation, and let's set that equal to an empty object. Now within the for loop, we're iterating over the vehicles, and we're creating a marker at the location of that vehicle and adding it to the vehicles group. What we now need to do is add the vehicles feature group to this overlay maps object. We need to do that for each vehicle in the data. So what we want to do is create a key in our overlay maps object here, and we can do that by using this syntax here. And we need to provide a key for this value here. So we're going to use vehicle, and then we're going to refer to the vehicle's primary key. And we can use a JavaScript template string for this. We're going to say vehicle.id here. So a JavaScript template string is created with these back ticks, and then you can refer to variables using this syntax here. It's very similar to an F string string in Python. So that gives us the key and that's a key for each vehicle's ID and we can set that value equal to the vehicle's feature group. So that's going to be vehicle feature group. Now note that in order to do this we need the ID to be available in the data. If we go back to the views.py file that we used in the last video, you can see that what we're returning as context here is the vehicle's key and we have values of latitude and longitude using the vehicle.objects.values function. We need to add the ID into this so that it's available on the front end. So we're going to reference the ID of that object, or rather the ID of all objects that we're fetching from the database. Let's go back to index.html. So we have this overlay maps object, and there's a key for each vehicle feature group in the data. The last thing we need to do in order to show this on the leaflet map is to create a layer control. So let's go back to the documentation, and we can see the code that follows these two objects, and that's down here where we create a variable called layer control. And we set that equal to the leaflet.control field, which has a function called layers. That takes two objects. The first one is for any base layers. And the second object, the overlay maps, is for any overlay layers. Finally, we add that control to the map so that it's actually visible on the map itself. So what I'm going to do is copy this line of code. And let's go back to VS Code. Underneath the for loop, we can paste that line of code in. We are using the leaflet.layers function. Now we need to remove the base maps. We don't have an object of base maps here, so I'm just going to refer to null. But we are passing in the overlay maps object that we created on line 20 and that we populated within the for loop with a key for each vehicle. Once we've added that, we can go back to the map and when we refresh this page, we hope to see the layer control appear at the top right of the map. And you can see that we do get that and we get a key here for each vehicle or rather for each feature group in the map. So if we untick vehicle one, you can see that that disappears from the map. And same if we untick vehicle two, three and so on, eventually we get no vehicles and we can bring them back 
and remove them as needed. And this is very useful if you want to group certain features together. You can do that using a layer group or a feature group. And then you add the control to the map with a key for each feature group. And you can then toggle them on and off. Now the key that you give to the object, for example here the cities key, which we set to a layer group, that is what you see appearing in the control here. So that's why this is called cities. That is because we've set the key in the JavaScript object equal to that value. And this functionality is not limited to just the markers. You can actually add as many features as you want to a particular group. And then when you toggle that particular group on and off, all of the features, whatever they might be, will also be toggled on and off as you do so. Now just to demonstrate that we can add multiple objects to a feature group and then toggle them on and off, I'm going to create a toy example here and we're going to use the array.prototype.entries function in JavaScript. The entries method will return a new array iterator object that contains key value pairs for each index in the array. So you can see below we create an array with three elements and we have an iterator that's created when we call the array.entries function. We can then call the iterator.next and then get the value and you can see the expected output has as its first element the index of iteration which is zero at the beginning as well as the value in the second index. So array.entries will give you back the index as well as the value. So what we're going to do is go back to VS Code and we're going to add that to our for loop here. So instead of just iterating over the vehicles we can use the dot entries function to get an iterator back and then we can unpack the values here to get the index i. Once we've got that when we create our vehicle vehicle feature group just below here. What I'm going to do is paste a line of code in here that creates a circle on the map for the particular index that we're iterating over and the location of that circle is going to be set dynamically. It's going to take the index of iteration and multiply that by 20 and that will give us the latitude and it's going to do the same and multiply it by negative 15 for the longitude and we also set with the leaflet.circle function a radius for that circle. And that call will create the circle and then we simply add it to the same feature group that we've created on the line above. Now let's quickly go back to the browser and we can see this in action. If we refresh the page and zoom out here you can see we now have these circles that are appearing on the map. And these circles are tied to a particular group so when we toggle off vehicle 1 here you can see it disappears and one of the circles has also disappeared. And if we remove vehicle 5 you can see the large circle at the top of the map has been removed so with these feature groups and with the layer controls we can actually remove multiple objects from the map at a given time. And of course after they're removed they can be dynamically added back in. Very easy to achieve this functionality with leaflet.js. So that's all for this video. We've learned how to use feature groups and how to use layer controls in this video. And these can be used to control what is shown and what is hidden from a leaflet map at a given time. And we've shown this with a toy example but this can be used with bigger data sets where you actually have to group things together into particular buckets of information that you want to show and hide conditionally on your map. So thanks again for watching. If you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.